That broad line that's still across the lower and mid Mississippi Valley and sections of the deep south, it starts to bring it into our picture for early in the morning tomorrow. So we'll pause at about 7 a.m. and these are estimated times, but nonetheless, I'd say pre dawn hours in the westernmost areas, Lake Seminole, Three River Zone, and then by early to mid morning across our central areas, maybe some of these batches of heavy rain, some gusty winds of their own, and we'll have to monitor how activity rolls from the Gulf into the coastal zones, and that can maybe cause a higher concern for water spouts. And then a general weakening of the line in comparison to the morning hours by later in the afternoon, but it's more of a focus across the eastern half of our region. Still maybe a stray strong thunderstorm that can be propelled from the Gulf into our eastern areas. But then our focus is going to transfer into maybe more of a rain event and not just because the showers are going to be all done. I do think the front causing this activity will linger into Thursday, so there could be the renewal of patchy showers, maybe a couple of low end thunderstorms across the region for portions of Thursday. I mentioned it'll be breezy wind gusts outside of any storms will be around 15 to 25 miles per hour, maybe up to 30 miles per hour across coastal zones. So that inflow of moisture and warmth will feed into that advancing line of storms and that'll help to kick up some of the wind action that these storms can generate as well as some energy. Of course, this will come in in the morning when atmospheric energy is usually a little bit lower, but into the afternoon we'll have to monitor just how much uh, can build up across our eastern areas. I do think still a weakening line is possible, but we'll still have enough juice in the atmosphere to warrant a concern for some scattered pockets of heavy rain and maybe a few more of those wind gusts. And of course, some folks can be unsettled by the sound of thunder in the morning. I think the best chance for pre dawn thunder activity will be across our westernmost area. So Lake Seminole, Flint, Chattahoochee River points to the west. Those will be the zones where we can have the earliest arrival of those active storms. Most, if not all of our area with at least a chance for scattered occurrences of severe weather. And again, the primary concern that I have will be those wind gusts with in those stronger pockets in that broader line. A couple of isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out and heavy rain will linger for a bit. Some areas can get another one to two inches before we're done with Thursday. So flooding is going to be another concern as far as the rain goes. But